Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick-ish flip through of my whole life planner, um, 20 th 2018 and 2019. First, I want to say how, look how thick this planner is. This is 2018-2019 and this is the new one. Like there's a significant, significant difference in that size. But anyway, so let's just get started. Um, this actually started out as a vertical layout and ended as an hourly, um, which is partially why it's so thick. I added extra pages, but anyway, okay. So we've got quote page, um, year at a glance. Uh, these were, these are Chrissy and design dots. Um, they didn't really work for me mostly because they're not repositionable and they're just very like, they just, they just didn't work for me. So, um, I actually in future planners, I just do pens and markers and stuff to mark all these instead of using stickers. Um, these are, I use this as a birthday list, but I never reference this. So I'm not going to do that moving forward. All right. So July, this was before I started using any kits. These stickers I used for bills, they're actually um, the Erin Condren like flag stickers. They kind of have this shape, but um, I just cut them in half. And yeah, this was like when I really just referenced it, my end of pay period, start of pay period. I used this as my budget. Um, my budget also, as you can see, like there's my budget. Um, and I just put my schedule on here, uh, for, for work. So, all right, moving forward. Um, these, these spreads are very boring. These are pen only in the vertical. So I've got work stuff, um, work, Declan's daycare, stuff that I needed to do. Um, I had bills down here and then this was like my first decorative sticker here. Um, I used some happy planner stuff, bills, work, Declan's daycare schedule, same. And a lot of this stuff is just kind of the same. So, um, mostly because I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot of sticker stuff. This is like my first big, first big sticker thing. And this was just kind of testing the waters. I could, I found out that I could do four little habit tracker things here. These are from Erin Condren and they just barely went over this box. Um, I kind of, I moved stuff around on here and then this washi is because I did my budget on this page and the washi is actually to tape a page over my budget and I redid it. So there's that. And then August was like my first trying to decorate the month. Um, I still had my bills. These, these bill stickers are also from Chrissy and Designs and these little event stickers are from Chrissy Ann Designs. These white ones I think came from Erin Condren, or no, Happy Planner. I had a bunch of Happy Planner sticker books. Um, but I did find out very quickly that I need removable, repositionable stickers, and these ones are not. So, all right. Moving forward, this was my first, like, huge spread with stickers. There's a lot there. Like I thought that I needed a lot. I have, oh, excuse me. I would like to think that I've simplified it a little bit from this. And then I've got this and mostly I was trying to cover up this stuff. Um, I bought a bunch of like these washies just from Walmart. Uh, most of the stickers are from happy planner. And then I think this was my first like planner Kate spread. And 
I didn't even have the, like, I didn't know what to do with the spread, so I've just got, like, some of the event, the full event stickers for bills, and then I've got the washi up here, and then work and daycare schedule, and then just some stuff that we had going on. And then, um, moving forward, this day was full of bills, and this was when I tracked my finances in here before I got my budget book, and I think I did that through, um, I think September was the last time I did that, and I got a new budget planner that October. So, let's see. I'm trying to see, like, how everything went. Um, I was definitely up for more, like, decorative stuff with the glasses, the coffee, coffee stuff. Um, here is another budget that this is still a budget taped over another budget page. Um, I just used an adhesive roller this time. And then we're getting into September. And this was my, one of my favorite Planner Kate monthly kits was these apples. I loved these apples. And, okay, let's see. I went out of town this month. This is September. I still have the Chrissy and Designs um, bills, trackers. But I was more into, all right, let's put in Declan's story time, his music, doctor's appointments. And then moving on, we've got, and I use this kit because it transitioned so nicely from the yellow to the purple. Um, oh yeah, this was when I only ever had Wednesdays off. It was my only day. Okay. All right. So moving forward, a lot of these early kits from Planner Kate, I love, like I love the navy florals, um, and I love how nicely these budget stickers fit in the vertical where they didn't necessarily fit in the, um, the monthly boxes. And then here's that same apple kit, which I just love. And I don't know that you can get it anymore, actually. But also, even if you could, like, this was when she still had the month printed on. And actually, I don't know if the month is still printed on. Yeah, it is. It is still printed on. But um, the day headers are different because they're not connected. Okay. Anyway, let me go back to the week. All right. I was going out of town to spend the time, some time with my family. And then we're moving into the fall kits. Um, this is when I was going to try my hand at meal planning. It never really worked out for me. Um, and this was my YouTube video schedule in for October. All right, October for pumpkins. Um, I had no school. Oh, it was like a midterm, sort of midterm break. <sighs> All right. And we've got story time still, music. Moving on into, I didn't love this kit as much. Like it was, it was cute. I just didn't really care for the polka dots. And then Declan actually helped me pick out the rest of October kits because um, he loves Halloween. So he helped pick out the spiders. And then this, I kind of hacked this. These are her little checklist boxes from Planner Kate. And I just turned them sideways and used them for habit trackers instead. And I think it worked out real well. I just never really, never really did it. So... And then the black cats and the bats. And then this was when I was using those long 
um, stickers for filming, meal planning, books, or I use those for homework, but. And then I moved into using just the icon stickers. They worked a little better for me. I still have a bunch. Um, we're going to try to do them again. November was, gosh, November was busy. So my mom was gone. Um, oh, this was my, I got suspended at work because I took this sick day, but I didn't give enough notice. So to use me as an example, they gave me a week suspension. All right. Whew. Oh, this is Declan's birthday week. He turned three this on this Sunday. And this was his first time trick-or-treating. He loved it. He was a vampire for his first trick-or-treating <laughs> experience. Um, this is when I was tracking my weight, which I will do in my fitness planner this year. And I loved this kit. And these, um, throughout the next several months, I think, you kind of see, oh, maybe not. Um, I do change up a lot where I put the washi and everything. Like here I've got the thin washi with the day headers, thick washi, thin washi. Um, weekend banner. The problem though is like these washi strips from Planner Kate, they don't fit across an entire week. When, um, yeah, they don't fit across an entire week. But I love these like November kits. Like they were so pretty. Oh, I was putting my shop, shopping, shoplin, shopping list on here. Um, I had these little Bill Do stickers here. Um, this was Thanksgiving week. And then into December. And this kit was pretty. Like, I, I love Planner Kate kits, guys. So, finals week, no school. Oh, that's for no daycare. I'm like, why did I put no school if finals week was in the middle? Um, no daycare. The daycare was closed those days. All right. And this one I got a little less washy happy with my kit. And this one was very, so much more simple than the other ones. And then this one kind of gets back into it. This is, I'm trying to find through these, I'm trying to find what works best for me. And so I've got, my mom took my son out of town for this weekend. Um, let's see. I had my to-do lists, filming list, um, moving onward. I think there was a giant, oh, it's still there. I was like, I remember I was thinking I was going to take this out because it drove me nuts for about four months after I put it in there. Um, so yeah, I did a lot. I still did meal planning, but this is more like I would write it in after we ate it kind of meal planning. And then I stopped and I don't think I ever did pick it back up after this week. Um, so here was my video schedule down here. This obnoxious reindeer, Declan picked it out from Hobby Lobby. I got a whole sheet of stickers that kind of stick up. And here's one, that one's not as much, but there's the snowflake. And these just stick up. It drove me, I had to put, um, I used a cover, um, one of my planner covers and put it here so that I could still, actually, no, I put it right on top. So I could still write on the other pages. Because otherwise, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it just way bubbled out and I couldn't write on the pages. But, all right, so I used a lot of those headers. I still have some sheets of those headers, but I don't use them anymore, obviously. I switched to an hourly halfway through this planner. Um. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. All right. And then this was 
Christmas week I took, oh I just had these three days off I guess. All right, and then January notes page. I was trying to be more minimalistic, which I did achieve a lot of it. I just quit documenting everything. Um, but I, I think this is one of my favorite Planner Kate kits so far. Like, I love this pattern right here. I love it. All right, so it kind of got... Like I've, I used to also put my work schedule here. I'd write it on the monthly view. I quit doing that. Um, that just got to be mu a little bit too much for me. But Wednesdays were always such a busy day because it was my only day off for a while. Oh, I guess I had, oh no, this is when Declan started soccer. So I told my boss I needed Saturdays off. Um... But there for a long time, I only ever had Wednesdays off. So. Oh, sorry guys, I can't stop yawning. Alright, so still, like, not super sticker-centric. This one is a little more so. And a lot of it is because, like, I just, I hated these um, colorful boxes. Hated them. They drove me so crazy. And so I just like did whatever I could to cover them up in a lot of the weeks. And then this, this is my birthday week. Uh, my birthday is on January 12th. All right. And then down here I had some like minimalist goals, purge. I didn't, I started on the 10th. So it was purge 1 through 10, 55 items, purge 11 items, 12, 13, and so on. And then... This, I'm so confused because I used these to track, so two, and then this started with eight. But I think my school term started this week. It wouldn't have. Um, I'm not really sure. All right, anyway. Oh, this is cool. When did I start actually keeping track of my books? Must have just been in January. Okay, so if I look back, I've got the first week of January. January 1st, I started Rapture in Death. It's the same of the series that I'm currently reading. Rapture is book four. And... So, Rapture Ceremony. So, since January 1st, I have read 20 books, which is kind of crazy to think about. All right. So, anyway. Yeah, classes started on the 14th. <sighs> oh, sorry, guys. I slept wrong or something. But anyway, so my first term classes for Colorado State University started January 14th and we're still, we're still going with that. Um, oh, I love this kit. I love the, like the wood kit and the gray. All right. And this was, oh, this was a very very busy week. I don't know what this is refund to do. Oh, it must have been for my financial aid disbursement. Refund. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this is kind of a busy week, but I also did include my school stuff in here also in all of my empty spaces, which I don't do that anymore either. Okay, so um, my minimalism stuff. I did do a lot of this since then, just not in February. All right, I also love this kit. You guys are going to hear that a lot. I love Planner Kate stuff. All right, so Declan had soccer through most of February, and then he started basketball and swim lessons. He still had his music class. 
This is, oh, these are hectic. No wonder I changed how I do everything. Like, looking at this just kind of stresses me out, guys. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how people plan in, like, vertical planners with no white space. Like, I can't, I can't wrap my mind around it. Okay. So, oh, this is probably when I started, I am terrible about noticing stuff. Maybe it was in just January. In January is when I started putting the washi at the bottom with the weekend banner. And then I never really knew where to put it because my days off were split because I had Wednesday and Saturdays off. And now my days off are together. It's Friday, Saturday, unless I request, like, um, next week I have July 9th off. Actually, I think it's this week when you're watching it. So I have July 9th off. So I'll work on um, Saturday the 13th. All right, yeah, this is just, this kind of stresses me out how much is in here. And I've since quit putting my bills in. I've quit, I quit putting a lot, this one was very plain. I didn't, I don't think I looked at my planner except to do my habit trackers this week. And probably the same with this week. Like, I was just into school. We were about to finish the first term. So... Kind of how that goes and there is the last week of February and then in March I've got be more minimal uh, be more minimal I didn't check anything off I didn't do my month end progress I think I actually stopped oh no I did it in April I did this kind of set up in April too but I didn't do anything with it all right my March kit I will say I didn't really love any of the March kits. I just didn't want anything like super St. Patrick's Day related. Um, but this was vacation month. We went to San Antonio to go to SeaWorld. And that was super fun. And yes, Declan missed basketball, swimming, music, swimming. Like he missed a whole week of stuff, but he didn't even notice that he missed it. All right. Oh, I taped pages together, which goes into my hourly layout. So I did get an hourly sent to me by one of you guys. And so I just kind of coiled them together. And the hourly has worked so much better for me since I've like figured out how I want to use it. And so you guys are going to see a lot of different, like, different stuff throughout the rest, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. So up here I did work, school stuff, like what school stuff I wanted to do that day. Um, this is a filming thing. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of out of frame, guys. Okay. We'll see if that helps a little bit. Um pack list because we left March 8th. And this is vacation week. I took my planner with me, but I don't think I looked at it the whole time, which is just fine. Like I didn't go on vacation to stare at my planner. All right. This is, oh, it was also my week off from school too, which worked great. All right, so I've got some to-do stuff, more to-do stuff. So I actually I used my planner this week. Um, book 11. My last month of like trying to do minimal stuff. I was running out of things to put on here. But... All right, and I, I love this kit. I love all the florals that Planner Kate comes up with. So Declan had basketball, swim, music, swim, basketball. Ooh. All right, what was I packing? Oh, because we were moving. Um, I think April 30th. Yeah, April 30th, my mom closed on the house, so we were moving into a new house. And this kit was so bright, I loved it. Like, and I think, 
Yep, April is when I started like using the dual tip markers instead of just my standard black pen. And so it really kind of just, it looked a lot better. Okay. All right, I've got my to-dos kind of scrambled wherever. Um, this is still when I'm trying to figure out where I want to put everything. <sighs> and then, yeah, so I've got school in the afternoon, this to-do in the middle of the day, this at the beginning of the day, and then here I've just put it in the middle. And then my May notes page setup that I didn't do anything with. And then my May monthly view. Declan had private swim lessons here. And then also, of course, the Erin Condren Life Planner release. Day off. Oh, I did take, I took a week off to move and get settled in. So we've got first week of May, and I this is the week I took off. I took Monday through Sunday off, I think. Yeah, all the way through Sunday, um, because we were moving. So, I want to see, because this says book 17, 16... I started, where's 13, 12, okay, so I did book 13 this week, I backtracked, there was a little novella between 12 and 13 that I wanted to read, and so I did that, and then 14, 15, 16, okay. All right. Um, this is, I was trying to figure out if that would work for me boxing out. I do it in my daily planner. I box out the times that I'm at work, but in my life planner, I don't think I, I didn't really love it. So May, um, my next term of school started this week. My mom took Declan with her to my brother's house for that weekend. Um, I spent the day at my brother's house this day. And then we get into June, which I did just do a flip through, so we're just going to kind of go through this part quickly. And get through all of that. And this was, Declan went on a vacation by with, with my dad, without me. All right, and then life planner move-in weekend. I've got my life planner, fitness planner, budget planner. And then my academic planner wasn't really like move out of one and move into the other. Um, and then these are just the monthly views. I've already shown that a few times. But anyway, so that is 2018-2019. And this planner is going to go up on my shelf until until I figure out what to do with old planners. I like, I don't have my one from the year before this. I don't know. I've never even thought to keep a planner, but anyway, so that is my year flip through and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.